this is Ken Nelson with TPC, and I'm working here with Olivia after class on something that kind of bedeviled her a little bit in class, and that's the pace of lifting your gun. So what were you doing on, let's say, a hard target? How fast were you lifting your gun? Just do it with your fingers. Very deliberately, right? And what I'm gonna maintain is that there's no percentage in that. It's not gonna help any kind of performance. What we need to learn is to raise the gun up at the speed of pointing, the speed of pointing, so that it arrives with the sights aligned. Okay, and if you can't do that, then fix that because it's really important. Now what we've got are two big, or a big target and a small target. And what I'd like you to do, Olivia, is face down range and make ready. Right? And so what I want you to do is start on target and then come back to compressed imminent threat. Then I just want you to raise to the big target and at the speed of pointing your finger at it and then pull the trigger when you see what you need to see. Stand by, up. Okay. Stand by, up. Okay, now we've got a lot harder target in the back. The, it's an eight inch circle at about 13, 14 yards. What I want you to do is shoot that one as well. Stand by, up. Good, stand by, up. Okay, so she's successfully lifting at the pace of pointing that gives her an advantage in that that's time she can spend to confirm your sights and deliver an excellent trigger pull. Versus before, you were wasting what? Three quarters of a second just lifting the gun up. Right. Is that helpful? Very helpful. Did it affect your accuracy at all? Not at all. Not at all. In fact, it probably helped because it gave you more time to transition to aiming, confirming your sights, and giving that perfect trigger pull. Yep. Anybody you want to give a shout out to? Hi, Alex. <laughs>